The fact of the matter is leadership leadership matters. You know, and I think leadership is, is uh, one of the major things that uh, that's really lacking, you know, whether it be in the community, uh, you know, within the state, country, the world. And you know, these young people right here have a great opportunity right now to be difference makers, you know, and they have opportunities every day to, to be a leader. And especially when the juniors and sophomores are going to be juniors and seniors in the next couple of years, um, you know, to take advantage of those opportunities, understand what the difference they can make is something that we want them to understand. What does it mean, too, to be able to do this in your hometown? Um, obviously, because you were in their shoes. Sure. So I'm not, not going to say how many years ago, but you, yeah. were, you were in their shoes. Um, so to, to be able to do it in your hometown, I guess, what does that mean? Well, it means a great deal. I mean, Fort Wayne means a great deal to me. I always have. That's why I continue to come back, you know. It'll be the 15th year of our baseball camp tomorrow, and, and like I said, with the leadership lunch, and I feel like that can be as much of, of a difference maker as anything we do. Um, just because if you can impact young people to make a difference, to, to be unselfish, and to take that leap of faith when it comes to people around them or situations that they're involved in, uh, then they can truly be difference makers in the community and even beyond. What gives you more satisfaction? Because obviously you have this, and then tomorrow you have the baseball camp. This teaching the game of baseball obviously is something you're passionate about giving you more satisfaction, or is it an event like this where you can kind of impart some wisdom on other things in life? For me, without a doubt, you know, the impact we can have them off the athletic field, regardless of what sport, that's the most important thing. What athletics can do to help young people to be better sons or daughters, you know, uh, husbands or wives, you know, you know, mommies or daddies, there's nothing more important than that. You know, the fact that you can give back and, and, and be a difference maker in the community, that all these people have an opportunity to do, all these young people have an opportunity to do that moving forward, uh, to be able to reach out and grab that, that's special. If you do that, you know, then it's a special community. Personally, um, what's new since the last time we talked to you this time a year ago? Still, Toronto Blue Jays love it. You know, uh, you know, help out with their their minor league system. Uh, we feel like we've come a long way in the last two or three years. Uh, I've got a lot of good young ball players. Um, some of whom uh, transitioned to the big leagues last year. Some of whom will transition to the big leagues this year. So it's an exciting time to see a lot of our young kids. Uh, you know, get an opportunity in Toronto. Obviously, you've been in that role now for a couple of years yeah, I, now. How have you kind of you know settled into that? Because I remember the, the first time I talked about it, you mentioned that it was something new for you. So yeah. I, um, what have you learned over the last couple of years, and how have you kind of settled into that? Role? I tell you what. I mean, I I love new challenges, but this has indeed been a new challenge. I've learned more about myself probably in this role than any other role I've been in. You know, as a leader. Um, you know, just uh, you know, as a baseball guy, just as a human being. So I'm surrounded with a lot of smart people, people with a lot of experience, and uh, you know, they've been very, very open and uh, very considerate with their time with me, and I've really appreciated it. Are you uh, just kind of starting to get it? It's January now, into January, you're starting to get that itch for baseball season again. Uh, the itch never goes away. I'm so passionate about the game. I just love the game of baseball. I've been really blessed that you know it's never left me. And uh, yeah, but it's about the people you work with. You know, it's about the people that you can have an opportunity to make a small difference with. And, you know, that's one of the reasons I enjoy, you know, being with Toronto. But, but it's really, it, it truly goes back to the game of baseball for me. Um, I know you interviewed with the Yankees a couple years back when that job was open. I mean, is, is getting back into managing still something that's on your radar? Or, or have you kind of set under this role with the Blue Jays and are comfortable staying there for a while? Well, you know what, I am comfortable in the role I'm in, but, uh, but I'm always looking to do something more. You know, I, I enjoy managing. I enjoy the leadership fact, the, pers uh, the you know responsibility and accountability goes along with it. But, but I, I just enjoy leadership roles in general. So, you know, if something else came along that you know, I felt like was a great challenge and something I'd be interested in, I'd definitely take a look at it. But, but there's a lot of satisfaction and fulfillment in the job I'm doing now. Appreciate it, man. Very good. Thank Thanks you, so man. much.